This is Streamline News for Friday, October 5th, 2012, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Michael Phelps had a great day on the golf course today at the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Tournament, sinking a 150-foot putt on the sixth hole. Using a stroke from his 16 handicap, Phelps was able to earn a net hole-in-one, reportedly his first ever. Phelps and golfing partner Paul Casey moved up the rankings today with a 9 under par score to sit at 87th place. They'll need to move up even more after tomorrow's 18 holes as the top 20 pairs get to play a fourth round at St. Andrews. If you're awake tomorrow night, you might want to keep your eyes peeled for a possible cameo appearance by Ryan Lochte on Saturday Night Live. The Olympic champion said he had been contacted by the folks at SNL and would like to appear on the show, but when he would appear hasn't been publicly released. You'll remember that Lochte was spoofed a couple of weeks ago by Seth MacFarlane, who made Lochte seem like someone who can't count or read. The FINA World Cup continues tomorrow or later tonight in U.S. time in Doha, Qatar, where Katinka Hosu will once again tackle a hefty event schedule in the hopes of bringing in more cash. In Dubai earlier this week, Hosu earned $11,000 by winning seven of the eight individual events she entered. In addition to the, to the per-race prizes, Hasu would be looking to increase her massive points lead in her quest to win the overall prize of $100,000 at the end of the eight-meet circuit. Kenneth Toe of Australia leads last year's overall men's winner, Chad Leclo, by just five points, so look for some good racing between those two. We'll bring you complete recaps of finals each day on SwimmingWorld.com. Also this weekend is the first all-North Carolina Invitational, where a couple of Division II schools will be among the headliners. Queens University and Wingate are both looking to break into the top 10 nationally this year in Division II and are creating a strong in-state rivalry. Duke University and host North Carolina State will be the top two Division I schools there. Olympians Abby Johnson and Nick McCrory will highlight the diving competition after winning medals in London in August. The University of Alabama starts its season tomorrow under new head coach Dennis Persley with a meet against Delta State. Persley is back in Tuscaloosa after four years working as national team head coach for British Swimming, having previously worked as an assistant coach at Alabama in the 1970s. Also competing this weekend is the University of Arkansas's women's swim team, which will be celebrating its 40th year in existence. Arkansas will be hosting the Razorback Relays on the exact day that Arkansas women's swimming held its first ever swim meet 40 years ago. Check SwimmingWorld.com this weekend for results from these and other college meets around the country. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching and enjoy the weekend.